the question is, where is the nearest black hole? Can we visit it? That's a, and uh, you know, I wrote a paper with my undergraduate student, uh, Amir Siraj, uh, suggesting that perhaps, you know, there could be, if there is one in the solar system, we can detect it. Because um, I don't know if you heard, but there is a claim that maybe there is a, 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 a planet nine in the solar system. Mm -hmm. Um, because we see some anomalies at the outer parts of the solar system. So some people suggested maybe there is a planet out there that was not yet detected. So uh, people searched for it, didn't find it. It weighs roughly five times the mass of the Earth. And we said, okay, maybe you can't find it because it's a black hole. <laughs> uh, that was formed early in the universe. Is that part? So, I mean, so wh wh where do you stand on it that? It could be that the dark matter is made of black holes of this mass. You know, we don't know what the dark matter is made of. You could, right. it could be the, uh, black holes. So we said, but there is an experimental way to test it, and the way to do it is because uh, is th there is the Oort cloud of icy rocks in the outer solar system, and if you imagine a black hole there. Um, every now and then a rock will pass close enough to the black hole to be disrupted by the very strong gravity close to the black yes. hole. And that would produce a flare that you can observe. And we calculated how frequently these flares should occur. Mm. And with LSST on the Vera Rubin Observatory, we found that you can actually test this hypothesis. That's brilliant. And if you don't see flares, then you can put limits on the existence of a black hole in the solar system. It would be extremely exciting if there was a black hole, if Planet Nine was a black hole, because we could visit it, <laughs> you know, and we can examine it. Yeah. Um, and it will not be a matter of, um, you know, a, an object that is very removed from us. Another thing I should say is, it's possible that a black hole affected life on Earth. Uh, the black hole at the center of the Milky Way. How? Um, you know, that black hole right now is dormant. It's very faint. Mm -hmm. But we know that it flares. When a star like the sun comes close to it, mm -hmm. uh, the star will be spaghettified, basically become a, a stream of gas, like a spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And then the gas would fall into the black hole and there would be a flare. Mm -hmm. And this process happens once every 10,000 years or so. So we expect that you know these flares to occur every 10,000 years. But we also see evidence for the possibility that gas clouds were disrupted by the black hole because the, the stars that are close to the black hole are residing in a single or two planes. And the only way you can get that is if they formed out of a disk of gas, just like the planets in the solar system formed. So there is evidence that gas fell into the black hole and powered possibly a flare. And these flares produce X-rays and ultraviolet radiation that could damage life if if the Earth was close enough to the center of the galaxy. Where we are right now, it's not very risky for us. But there is a, a theoretical argument that says the solar system, the sun, was closer to the galactic center early on, and then it migrated outwards. Oh, so maybe, maybe in the early stage of the solar system, the conditions you know, were affected, shaped by these flares of the black hole at the center of the galaxy. And that's why for the first two billion years, there wasn't any oxygen in the atmosphere, you know, who knows? But um, it's just interesting to think that, you know, from a theoretical concept that Einstein resisted in 1939, it may well be that, you know, uh, black holes have influence on our life. And that, you know, it's just like discovering that some uh, f uh, stranger affected your family and in a way your life. And um, you know, if that happens to be the case, a second Nobel Prize should be given, not, not for just the discovery of this black hole at the center of the galaxy, but perhaps for the Nobel Prize in chemistry, for the effect that it had. For the on effect, for the, for the interplay that resulted in some kind of, uh, yeah, so, so the, yeah, the chemical effect, Bi biology, I mean, all those kinds of things in, in terms of uh, the emergence of uh, life and the creation of a habitable environment. That's so fascinating. And of course, like you said, dark matter, like black holes have some- something. They could be the dark matter in principle, yes. Uh, we don't know uh, what the dark matter is at the moment.